we all need time for further consultation. Talks between some of the world's biggest oil producers on a deal to freeze production output collapsed on Sunday evening after Saudi Arabia insisted Iran, a fierce regional rival, be part of any agreement. So far, a feared sell-off in the oil price has failed to materialise. But it could be some time before the full implications of what went on in Doha over the weekend are realised. As markets opened on Monday, oil prices did indeed fall sharply. Brent, which is the international oil marker, tumbled as much as 7%, but prices soon recovered. That relatively relaxed sanguine reaction, and remember that oil prices have rallied 40% since the prospect of a freeze was first flagged in February, reflects a couple of factors. First, many traders and analysts believe the oil market is starting to rebalance as low prices drive high cost production offline. It's quite possible that the market will be in a supply demand balance by the end of the year, although there are large stocks that need to be reduced before prices can really recover. So that's the first point. The second is in Kuwait, there's an oil workers strike. This is cut output from the country and is adding to a growing list of supply disruptions around the world that is helping to tighten the market. Well, we can't say precisely, but a picture is beginning to emerge, and it all points towards Saudi Arabia and its powerful deputy crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman. At some point during Sunday's negotiations, Saudi Arabia's stance toughened, and it became clear they would not back a deal without the involvement of Iran. Now, as Iran has consistently said it would not back a deal until it's recovered pre-sanctions level of exports and productions, it does seem puzzling that oil ministers would have travelled all the way to Doha if there wasn't the real prospect of a deal. Clearly, they thought something was going to be reached on Sunday until the Saudi stance changed. Now, it's important to note some comments made by the Deputy Crown Prince over the weekend. He told Bloomberg on Saturday that Saudi Arabia would not back a deal without Iran's involvement, and more importantly, that it could raise production by a million barrels a day if there was demand for its oil. This is interesting because it marks an overt politicisation of Saudi oil policy. Well, it's clearly going to be very difficult to resurrect talks about a production freeze. Everyone who has attended has been embarrassed by the failure to strike a deal, and they won't want to risk something happening again. So that means the rebalancing of the oil market, which is underway, will have to happen without any assistance from major producers. And if Saudi Arabia follows through and does lift production to 11 million barrels a day, that could push the rebalancing of the oil market out until 2018 and perhaps later. That's unlikely to happen, but the threat of it is likely to keep all market participants on their toes for the coming months.